All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome back uh, to another Hangout. Um, today, I have a uh, special guest on from right here in Warrenton from the community, uh, and it's uh, Keith Huff. Uh, you, you might know him from uh, the insurance industry or maybe uh, from, uh, I've seen him on some of the billboards around town. Uh, so, uh, hey, Keith, why don't you say hello and introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what you do. Hi, my name is Keith Huff. Uh, I'm the shelter insurance agent here in Warrenton, Missouri. Uh, we provide auto, home, life insurance, and that's about it. Right on, man. How long have you been in the uh, insurance industry? Uh, we're closing in on about nine years now. That's awesome, man. And uh, and for those that don't know, uh, your your office, um, you know, to, is located right in downtown uh, Warrenton, right on Main Street, right? Correct. Yeah, it's uh, been in the same location since about 1982. Jerry Dyer had it for uh, All right. several years. Right on, man. So how how did you get started in the uh, insurance industry? Uh, you know, a long discussion with Jerry Dyer, the former agent. Uh, he kind of persuaded me to get out of the golf business and uh, get into insurance. Right on, man. Awesome. Uh, I'm sure that uh, you've got to lot, work with a lot of people and a lot of customers over the years. Um, you know, and so that's, that's really awesome. Uh, you know, as a, as a community influencer, um, you know, it's really cool to see the, the region Warrington, uh, and the surrounding area grow. Um, do you feel like, you know, there's going to be a continued trend to see this area grow, uh, with people? I do. I believe that's just kind of a natural progression. It seems like everything keeps moving out West. Uh, and we're about the next stop. I mean, Winsville's filling up in a hurry. Yeah, that's, man, I re we moved um, from Chicago to here in Warrington when I was seven years old. This was back in 85. And man, back then, I mean, Warrington didn't have a lot, but man, even Winsville, Winsville was considered very rural back then even. Um, and look at it now, it's like 30, 40,000 people. It's insane how much it's grown just in that short time. No, you're right. I remember coming up to see my grandparents in Warrington when I was a kid, and we'd be driven from Farmington to Warrington, and Winsville was about two gas stations along the way, and that was about it, and Warrington wasn't a whole lot different. Yeah, uh, that's for sure. Uh, so what, what keeps you busy outside of work, Keith? Uh, do you have any hobbies or anything you like to do outside? Uh, yeah, I, I'm married to my wife, Leslie, and my two boys, so they, they kind of keep me running around, um, play golf a little bit, and then uh, just the different kid activities that we end up doing. Right on, man. That is so cool. Uh, I uh, got two kiddos myself. They're a little older now, but uh, kids will definitely keep you busy. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah. With uh, you know, with everything happening in the world right now with the coronavirus and and COVID and all the CDC guidelines, um, you know, how has that affected, if at all, how's that affected the insurance industry? Uh, it's, uh, it's kind of changed everything from, um, you know, March 27th, 28th, we had a pretty big hell storm in Warrenton, just north of 70. And, you know, it's just a way for handling claims, making sure they're a social distance away. You know, here at our office, we've got the door locked, so we're kind of doing a curbside service. And nationwide, you're seeing insurance companies uh, given little relief payments because of uh, the driving being down. That's true. And that was actually a pleasant surprise. I'm sure for a lot of people, I know it was for me to get a, a relief payment back from the insurance company. Cause I was like, you know, I haven't been driving as much. Like <laughs> my gas budget for driving has been amazing these past few weeks. <laughs> Cause we're not going anywhere. It has. You know? Gas has been good, but we have nowhere to go. Exactly, man. Yeah. 
Well, Keith, I know that uh, you're a big proponent of just being behind the community um, and, and uh, wanting to give back into the community. Uh, you know, what are some things that, uh, you know, even recently maybe that you've been involved with when it comes to just community initiatives? Um, as far as that, uh, we were we were behind the Rebecca Boone PTO. They're building the playground at the Rebecca Boone Elementary School. So we were a big donor on that. Uh, and then Shelter also granted each agent an opportunity to donate $1,000 to a charity of choice. So we were able to provide the Warren County Senior Center with, uh, with some money for their Mills on Wheels program. And just kind of stay active and try to help where we can, when we can. That is so awesome, man. Well, we really appreciate that. I know the community appreciates that and appreciates you. Um, you know, if people want to find out more about uh, the products you offer or your agency, um, do you have a website or you know, what's the best way for people to uh, reach you? Uh, it's either, you know, by phone number, 636-456-3804. Uh, they can also email us at khuff at shelter insurance or stop by. We're here. We'll come out. We'll come see you. We'll stay away from you. We'll, we'll give you some room. Or you can find us on uh, Facebook under Huff Insurance LLC as well. Great. And we'll put all the links uh, in the comments when we, uh, when we show this. And so that'll be awesome. Well, uh, you know, what, uh, you know, in the insurance industry, I, obviously you guys are always kind of looking for trends, always looking at like, what's the current environment, where are things going? Uh, what's some encouragement you can actually give to people right now that might be watching this, that might be, you know, maybe even a little fearful of, you know, what's to come. I, I, I think we'll get through it. It's, we're going to have a few more bumps in the road, but we'll get back to what the new normal is soon enough and uh, we'll just stay on the path and we'll keep on going. Right on, man. I absolutely believe that too. There, there'll be a new normal. We don't know exactly what that looks like, but man, God's good all the time. And, uh, and he's got this and this wasn't a surprise to him. That's what I keep telling people all the time. Just even as a pastor is like, Hey, you know what? This was no surprise to God. He's got a plan. We just got to trust him and walk out day by day. Absolutely. Well, hey, I got a few quick bonus round questions, just some rapid fire uh, to get to know you a little more. Are you ready? All right, I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Uh, coffee or tea? I would say tea, but I'd rather go with a Slurpee. Over oh, coffee. all right. <laughs> right on. Uh, early riser or night owl? I'm probably leaning more towards the night owl, but the older I get, we're getting closer to the early riser. Uh, yeah, me too, man. Uh, do you have a current favorite show? Uh, you know, if it's not Billiken basketball or Mizzou football, then, you know, I, I end up watching King of Queens reruns, it seems like. <laughs> That's great. What a great show. Uh, do you have a favorite book? Uh, yeah, a Life Well Played by Arnold Palmer. Right on, man. All right. Um, and if you could meet anyone, uh, past or present, who would it be and why? Oh, that's a tough one, but I'd probably go with Walt Disney just to uh, figure out how, how that process came along. Right on, man. That's a, that, that would be a fascinating conversation to have with Walt Disney. He was so driven um, and, and creative, obviously. So great pick. Well, Keith, thank you so much for uh, taking a few minutes out of your day and hanging out with us. Um, and uh, we'll put your contact information in the comments. And so thanks again, Keith. You uh, take care, man. All right. You too. Thanks, Cisco.